This is the town I love, a neighborhood of family and friends. You know how we do Southside Chicago, baby. Yes, baby. And right here at the heart of it all is where everyone comes together. The Barbershop. Ice Cube, I'm Jeff. Nice to meet What's you. What's up, man? How Welcome you to Chicago. Thank you. I have to tell you, this is my favorite barbershop so far. Wow, that's that's dope. You know, it's good to be the third one and to still be your favorite. Third time's a charm. Hey, it is. It is. I think we we stepped it up. You know, the second movie was pretty cool, but this third one I think is great. Eddie is the comic relief of this film. He always brings a laugh when it's so even in the hard times, which is yeah. nice. You know, the world is tough enough, I feel, as, as is right now, so it's nice that you can bring that comedy. Is it hard to sometimes get that comedy out for you, or is it a natural thing for you? No. You know, the thing about Eddie is he's playing a character that's real in the in the circumstance. So his comedy comes from a very heart spoken place, you know. So he just says things that are real and they and that releases the tension. And I think sometimes you need to be able to do that for sure. somebody to not to look at the fear and look at it as fear. Somebody looks at it different and go, oh, okay, you know what? I can put that in a box. Let me get. Let me do something about that now. Well, he's hysterical in this film. Yeah, good, good. good. He is. He's hysterical. That's good. And my thing is, he's been in three films now, Eddie. Yeah. So how has Eddie evolved through these three films, or has he? Is he still the same guy? He's pretty much the same guy. I mean, you know, he's smarter than what people think. Like, you know, this, these were backstories we always said. Like, Eddie's got a lot of money. Don't nobody know why he's got a lot of money, but he actually was when they would start marketing the Afro pick with the fist on it. He oh, yeah. was the first one in on, in on it. So he just keeps it modest in the barbershop. Hey, man, he just come to the barbershop to be with people and socialize. It's his he don't want to be in an old folks home. He Eddie. JD, we missed him in Barbershop 2. Mm -hmm. And now he's back. He was in Barbershop 1. Now he's in Barbershop the next cut. What does yeah. JD bring that was, you know, maybe missing last time around? Uh, you know, growth. You know, that, that's what he brings. He, he's, he's, he's bringing some growth. You know, last time we saw JD, he was on the other side of the law. You know, he's coming sure. together. Uh, he's bringing community uh, together through, uh, through food. He found love for food. You know, he starts a company called Gangster Grub. So uh, that, that's, that, that's what JD's doing right now. What's going on, hungry black folks? Uh, who wants some non-profit gangster grub? All right, soul food to save full soul. Every delicious piece of beef helps keep a bullet off the street. I know that's right, because that who smoked your okra was popping in one fleek last time. Yeah, you go great. Did, did she just say fleek? Don't, don't just make up word, right? There's a whole dictionary full of words. Okay, it's library down the street, Webster's Dictionary. Go in there and flip through it. You won't see Fleek in there nowhere. <laughs> Great. Don't worry about that. I got some Don't Be So Mean greens in there for you today, too. You're going to love it. It's so good. Common, nice to meet you. Welcome home to Chicago. Yes. How are you? I feel wonderful. I feel great. Enthused to be home. Good. Are you glad to be in this barbershop film? We're glad to have you. It was great to have you in this film. Um, I'm very excited, uh, enthused, and, and grateful to be in the movie. The movie is, you know, part of a tradition of Chicago in a way because, you know, it takes place in Chicago. And barbershops take place in the community. So it's really what I'm about, like the community and my city. But um, I just to be around these super talented people like Cedric the Entertainer and Regina Hall and Ice Cube and, and um, JB Smooth and it's, it's like Dion Cole, like it's Nicki Minaj, it's some really it's a big cast. Great cast and talented people. So the, the movie is fun. I'm really excited about it. Good. So you do such inspiring work with the Common Ground Foundation. Did that weigh any bit on why doing this film? Because this film has a big political and society message in it. Yeah, well, that definitely was one of the biggest reasons that I would, wanted to be a part of it was because of the social the social message, um, the inspiration that the movie can can potentially provide, it will provide, sure. the inspiration it will provide. It wasn't just about my foundation, it's just about what Chicago has been going through with with a lot of, you know, some of the violence that's been happening here. And um, just creating hope and opportunities, you know, I feel we can do it through, we can spark that sometimes through the films, through music, through, through art, and even like hopefully inspire young people to say, hey, I want to be great filmmakers, I want to make movies that that talk about life and in and, and, and different ways, so. Hey, shoot out there. I don't want to tie a virgin. Stop playing, get down. Oh, hell, it'll take me too long to get back up. I don't even recognize the neighborhood no more. I'm trying to get that call in the middle of the night saying my son is locked up or worse. Them people downtown, they ain't moving for us. We gotta fix our problems ourselves. The barbershop is the pillar of the neighborhood. So we turn the shop into our safe space with free cuts and styling. It's some of my best work. 
I bet he won't be talking back to his mama no more. Him the George Jefferson. Hey, Dean, I'm Jeff from C Network. Up, nice to meet you. How you doing? Nice to I'm meet so you glad you were in this movie. Thank you. Because you were hysterical. Thank you. That's nice of you. So what do you think Dante brought to this movie that it never had before? Man, I think he's just bringing a comedic time in that, that it needs. when Because it's, it's such a, it's, it's a heavy movie, too. So for us to come in and give some comedic relief from, from times that's needed, and that's, that's basically what it was. I got robbed twice and got my ass beat by the second robber for giving all my money to the first. Uh-uh. She wasn't playing. <laughs> so you play Angie in this film. What do you, Nikki, and the girls in this film bring that the guys just don't do? You know, we just, we bring a different point of view. We bring a, you know, a different point of view to the shop. We, I think we bring, and I think we bring fun. Sure. But I think we also bring, like, you know, how some things that they say are just ridiculous. Yeah. So I think we, um, we bring a lot of value because there's a, there's, a different a perspective that you know the guys just didn't have before we sure. showed up even though we're not wanted by everyone eddie well, seems to have a problem with us i'm team angie in barbershop <laughs> what happened in the barbershop calvin we should come here to get away from women me and angie we was both struggling to keep our shops afloat so we had to work together saved us both i can't believe y'all put all that money on your heads and then don't be having the money for your rent with this hair and this booty damn it's like walking around with a black amex and I never get denied. Why well, y'all always got to take it there? You've added actors, Regina Hall, Common, so many others, Nicki Minaj. Yep, uh, Don, I mean, Dion Cole, yeah. JB Smooth. Yep. It's a fun cast. How has it changed the dynamic by having these new characters? It just made it fresh. Yep. Made it fresh, made it new. You know, the barbershop is now half the beauty shop. You know, we, yeah, yeah. we made it unisex. So that adds a, a, a dynamic in itself. You know? Sharing so, with Angie. Yeah, yeah. So that's a big dynamic that, you know, that makes this unique. Well, I've been quizzing Ice Cube's co-stars on something to see if you know him well or not. Okay. So I'm playing a game All right. and it's either Matthew Fax and you got to tell me if it's Ice Cube or Ice T. Oh, okay. So you want to hold these up for me really quick? <laughs> Children's names are O'Shea, Daryl, Karima, and Sharif. That's Ice Cube. That's Ice Cube. Very good. Oakland Raiders fan. That's right. Born 1958. Nice tape. Nice job. O'Shea Jackson's their birth name. Ice Cube. Okay, married to Coco. Boom. Is five foot eleven. <laughs> I know I had to throw a stumper in there. Oh nope, it's actually ice tea. It's, it's, it's the perm. It's the perm. It's the perm. It makes him five eleven. But he's cut it now. He did. So he's only five eight now. He did. He did. Yeah, he cut the perm. He's only five eight. So you guys need to do your research. Remeasure him. <laughs> it's cute. Thank you, Anthony. Congrats okay. on the movie. And congrats on Blackish. Thank you very much, brother. You have a good night. You too. Game. This is called Barbershop: The Next Cut, not the final cut. So if and when the fans love this movie as I did, would you be up for another one if it became appropriate? Of course. You know that's what it's all about: giving the people what they want. You know that's our job. So if the people want another one, we definitely gonna bring it to you. I just want to tell you really quick, I've been quizzing your co-stars about if they know you or not with a Ice Cube or Ice T facts, and okay. they've been doing really well. All right. So I have you right too. No, I already got you. I don't need to quiz you because you're okay. a pro. You know, yeah, unless unless dope. you're married to Coco as well. No, no, no. I'm not. <laughs> no, it's pretty dope. When we play this game, they did an awesome job. So your good. your crew knows you. Good, good, yes. good, good. Well, congrats good. on the film, Ice Cube. Thank you, man. Nice thank to you. meet you. You too. Yesterday was your birthday, so happy birthday. Oh, so thank you. on behalf of Chicago, we want to thank you for being so awesome to our city. Thank so you. happy birthday. It's a cupcake. Oh, man, I'm honored. Thank you so much, man. Really congrats on the film. Yeah. And thank you for everything in Chicago. We love you. Thank you, man. Your father will be proud of everything that's going on here. Hashtag Barbershop Saves the Neighborhood is trending on Twitter. Can I get a selfie with you? What the white girls want? They lost? Cool. Did you tell them they was awesome? White people love them. You go, awesome. <laughs> <laughs>